Samson was thrown in prison. Even though Samson messed up, God still gave him another chance. Yes, yes. And the thing Samson did was he went to God and he prayed. Now the rulers of the Philistines is simple to offer a great sacrifice. Ain't it like God Thought you were down to nothing. When he thought that you, glory to God, have has have have given your last fight, God will step right in. He'll allow the the, the fighting angel come in and fight for you. tonight we have to understand everybody is not your friend not only everybody listen preachers and pastors everybody ain't your children either everybody that call you my, that's my spiritual parent Lord of God if I'm your spiritual parent come on you need to learn how to listen every now and again You gotta learn how to be accountable to God and to your leaders. I can't get no help in that. I told the church the other night, I said, the reason the problem is now is that the church don't have no kind of accountability. People come to church when they want to come. They leave when they want to leave. Come on. They go on vacation when they want to go on vacations. Come on. They go on trips when they want to come to trips. Come on. Lord God. But they never call their pastor and say, Pastor, I ain't gonna never be there. I ain't gonna be there. Not only that, but Lord of God. Amen. We gotta understand that praise the Lord. Pastors, amen. This is the pre pastor or anniversary. I'm trying to encourage the pastors. Pastors, we got to understand too that, glory to God, amen, these people think that we got all money that is coming out of our pockets. Come on. Amen, glory to God. We got to pull. Oh, my God. Amen, glory to God. Amen. They trying to say that I ain't got to pay my tithes. I ain't got to pay my offers. But how in the world the church going to last? Come on. Without your tithes and your offers. That's why. We got to be careful who we put in position. Wow. We got to be careful who we give the titles to. Because, amen, not just your friend, but everybody's not your colleague. I'm telling y'all, I'm telling you, in this season, this time in our lives, we have to be careful. The Bible tells us put no trust, put your trust in no man. Ah. Just because you smile on my face don't mean that you don't got a knife behind your back. Come on here. Ready to stab me. Come on. That's why I don't we don't invite over to the city. And I remember the time where I remember the time where I had people that said they had my back. What? And they were trying to start another church behind my back. Stole all my equipment out of the church. I'm telling the devil is. Come on, stole the money out of the church. Come on, y'all. Yeah, do. I know what I'm talking about. It'll say we got to be careful because glory to God, Amen. People that don't have our best interest, they will try to break up something or you know, somebody that has really has your back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And they be the ones that really praying for 
for you. Yes, God. We all do uh, 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 cover dishes. 
That's real. That's real. That's it right there. Say that again. Everybody don't want help. Some people think they know it all. Some people think they got it all together. Some people think that they can't. They, you, you can't teach me that because you, you, I'm older than you. Come on. Amen. Your, your teaching days don't ever stop. Come on. No matter how old you get, come on. You can still learn something. Just because you're doing it don't mean it's right. Know if you don't have 
the gift of the Holy Ghost. Uh-oh. You don't need to be operating in the church. Come on here. That's all right. Church got to go back to the altar. Oh, I can't get no hip to get down. Some of y'all don't know how. You, you've never been down on your knees. Oh my. Uh, you don't know nothing about Terry. Come on, you get up too quick. We got to learn. We got to have the Holy Ghost. We have to have the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is a comfort and a key. If you want to be careful. The Holy Ghost will make you shut up when you want to open your mouth. I can get no help in here. Come on. The Holy Ghost will make you, glory to God, it will make you love those who despitefully use you. The Holy Ghost will make you go speak to your brother and sister and you know they just lied on you. If you got the Holy Ghost, you want to raise your hands and say, thank God I got the Holy Ghost. church did that the church caught on fire but the problem is people fire that to keep light come on here they ain't got no paddle why in the world I gotta keep lighting the light in my fire they pay their bills after a while that match is gonna go out after a while, that light is going to run out. Okay. That's why you need to learn how to keep the fire burning. That's why we be so tired in praise and worship. We be so tired in presiding. We be so tired of preaching. Because we have to play this seesaw stuff. Oh, up and down, up and down. When things are going right, up and down, up and down. Things go wrong, up and down, up and down. When we go fire, stay lit in our lives. I'm hip you. Some of us have gotten too used to music. Ah, uh, come on here. And we have this music religion. Uh. If the music good, we we good. Ah, uh, come on here. Wait for that beat. Then we ready. Yeah. But I don't have music when I'm at home. Come on. What you say? Oh, that's, it. that's it. When I'm praising God or, yes, or when I need something for God, yes, and God tell me to shut, shut. Don't worry about that. Just go. Just praise yes, me. Yes, I don't have nobody here to keep singing. Yes, when He tell, He give me something to, to speak to my own life. I don't have a church. I don't have the members. But we need to learn how to keep the fire burning. Know everybody gonna be your friend. Know everybody's not gonna have your best interest. But what a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and grace to be. Hallelujah. The church is also going back to teaching. Yes. We didn't have too much preaching. And when we we get this 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 religion, we get it, we have it for a good hour. When we go out them doors, we done lost it. We got that good feeling. Oh, you know, all on the floor and everything. Uh, Spitting and all that good stuff. But when we walk out the door, we're going to lose it. We're going to lost it. Thank you, Lord. Don't be like Samson. When God has given him, given him warning after warning. And the Lord said,
said tonight that I have given warnings after warnings. You keep giving messages after messages. And some of you still don't get it. You play with God. You, 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 you got this microwave spirit. You got this pop. Oh my God. And, and you got to understand this. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God is soon to come. Yes. Church don't believe this. All right. Grandma that told me. She told us. She used to tell us. She did it though. And if he was soon to come then, Lord have mercy. He's soon to come right now. All this unforgiveness in our hearts. I'm going to deal with it tonight. These wishy washy spirits. Wow, wow. Hallelujah. We got to stop all that. Because if God come yes, yes. and catch you with that kind of spirit, you ain't going to make it into heaven. I'm sure there'll be somebody that you you, you might have a problem with, with that might make it a heaven and you might not. So we gotta be we gotta be very careful who we say we dislike. Be careful who you say you don't fool with. Come on. Those might be the ones that you really need to fool with. That's real. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Lift your hands all over the building tonight. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.